Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsuse and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. In the last few episodes, we have been working heavily in the redstone world in order to get this uh, machine here uh, functioning. And I have placed it here at the back of uh, our bulk storage and with the glass floor we can nicely see what's going on on knees. Um, I did change uh, the piece back there a bit uh, because now we have basically on that glass we have uh, a redstone torch which will power this node block only when there is a block there and that will be detected by the observer and we get the signal out and we also get a signal out when we move the block out but we do not have the issue where we would get a signal each time the piston fires so that's good uh, to have that there and there is still more work to do on uh, that and there but I thought maybe we should mix things up a bit and uh, after so many redstone heavy episodes uh, do a bit more building because now we actually should be in a state where we can actually do that and I'll think our villager trading hall, uh, one of the first projects uh, we started here, um, could look a bit nicer. And I have a vision in my head, but I don't know yet how to translate that into Minecraft. So I will have to experiment a bit and coming up with something for this. The other forms, there I'm not yet sure if we uh, still need to add things on top uh, here for the uh, for the for the smelter I still think we will have another smelter right on top of uh, the other one um, that has a different fuel so it does not matter that much if we have low quantity uh, throughput um, but we can start with this building and see where the journey goes right right so let's get into it now these are the blocks that we will use to build and not quite sure if we have enough to reach the, the top floor there but basically the idea is that we have a one wide corridor here through the back so all this has to go and then the design is i think seven wide and then we have a bit more on the uh, corner pieces and uh, I have to see uh, how that works out towards that end um, because in that direction I think we can extend the floor a bit because I also want to have facilities there to get up and down fast uh, meaning uh, bubble water column to get up and we of course need one for each floor that we have the way down that's pretty simple that's just a drop into water but yeah let me let me build the uh, first corner uh, here in front and uh, then we can have uh, looks look how um, this actually uh, works out 
This is the pattern I am going for. Uh, it's a bit uh, repetitive, it's uh, a bit unique. So uh, you can see the repeating part here is the one with the with the packed eyes behind and then we have this three wide separator between two modules. The outer one is a bit different than the other ones but otherwise um, not that much and I am not sure if I miscounted um, because I thought the bottom of the eyes would be flush with the floor there. Actually it's one deeper and I'm not sure if that's a problem if we put uh, the next layer on top. But I think I will finish up this first floor and then we will see how far we have to extend in that direction and maybe also in uh, the other direction just so that uh, the, the pattern uh, matches up with the, with the widths and lengths that we have of this build. The outside of the ground floor is now in and it turns out to be true. I miscounted. But here on the bottom floor, it does not matter. We can extend the wall design uh, one lower than the floor on the inside. And then for the next one, two, three floors, we will probably reduce the roof height by one so that we can have the full three high wall. Uh, and that should still work out. And then of course, uh, right at the top, it does not matter anymore and we can have the full height again. And as it turns out, uh, if we go up here, um, here on this side, we get a bit of space for a mechanism to go up and down. And also on this side, we do have quite a bit of space uh, available. Unfortunately, I did not account for the roof going so wide in, uh, which makes this a bit awkward. So um, the stair here has to go, but that does not really matter that much because uh, at the uh, other end down there we will have an even better way to get up and down um, on this system. So now it's, it's just a bit of uh, grindy work uh, building up all the other layers and I think resource wise I should be good. Uh, maybe I need a bit more uh, wood, but I think I do have enough ice. Uh, I used about four stacks, uh, not even four full stacks. So for five stories that would be uh, 20 stacks. So we have a bit of spare in the end. If I had not mentioned that the roofs on the middle three are different, you would probably not notice. However, what you do notice is that we have a tiny problem with mobs because the roofs are not spawn proof and that's not something we can have. Everything else spawn proof and then mobs dropping on our heads from a top. I also have not yet figured out how to do the roof all the way at the top, but uh, I think that's the, the next thing to tackle along 
with the uh, lighting up here uh, of the of the sides so to make that spawn proof and then the last step is uh, getting in um, the elevators and drop shafts so that we can once again move from floor to floor all the flooring is in the roof is in all the lighting is dealt with and as you can see i have already laid out the pattern for our up and down mechanism we have some holes here where this goes through here of course the down way you just drop into um, a waterlocked slab that's good and then here i am thinking we can have basically glass panes on three sides and that would still allow moving diagonally while not the water then here we shall have two there and then open fence gates and that should allow us to have water columns so tricky part here is we have to do that um, while uh, also getting rid of uh, this one so i am thinking this one goes all the way to the top and then this one would be just one floor up so let me finish all of this and then to finish this episode we can take a ride the new way up and down is now also done i had to replace the uh, inner panes here with uh, full blocks because otherwise the water streams would connect and create a mess but as you can see we can now go in and ride all the way to the top and then also fall back down and here on this side i even have a door um, once we have the proper setup uh, for the flooring uh, uh, will be on that level here and will then rise quite a bit to our storage system um, so yeah that's definitely a project for the future but i'm quite happy with uh, how this turned out as our first uh, building decorated building here on this world and in the future there will be more but i think for the time being we have to tackle some more redstone problems in the next episode so don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time goodbye